Hey, welcome back to Bruise with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? I'm superior. Thank you so much. Um, so, in between all my, uh, you know, uh, beer advent calendar stuff, finally getting around to a couple of the ones that I had meant to review. Uh, wife almost try trying to screw me up with a beer advent calendar. Just joking. I love it. It's great. It's great. I love outing. Uh, so, anyway, back to uh, one of the breweries I really dig. Uh, Fremont Brewing out of Seattle, Washington. Let's uh, bring in the Richter button. This right here is Winter Ale by Fremont. This is 8% on the Richter. Um, so basically, to I'll just read it off. makes it easier. This is a tasty winter ale to snuggle up to, released in the winter months when snow blankets the terrain on the mine and body craves warmth. And let's be honest, it's dark and wet most of the time, so let your beer be damn good. Winter Ale is, is dark like the weather. With rose chocolate and warm malt flavors balanced by noble hop aroma and subtle hoppy spice. Warm to warm warm up to it because beer matters. Alright then. Uh, so yeah. Got a little little malt, little, little noble hop. I'm looking forward to, you know, whenever it's a winter ale, it's kinda just I just feel like spicy and raisiny with a little bit of a, you know, thick malt. Uh, so at least that's it what I have in my mind. Um uh, of what I think of it. Uh, 47 IBU, so it's got a little, uh, little bitterness to it. Um, that's about it. Um, go Nuggets, go Buffs, and go Nuggets again. Jokic MVP. All right, let's pour this. About a, about a month in the can. All right, do me a small favor. The like button below me. Crush it, smash it, and crush it again. I really appreciate it, and whoa, take it easy, foam. Hit the subscribe button for Especially for that phone. Please subscribe. Love you so much. And uh, yeah, hit the notification bell. That way you can see all these good beers all the time. All right, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> got a little carried away there. A little pre premature foam. So give me just a second. I'm going to let this, uh, you know, simmer down. Simmer down foam. All right. Beer calm down. Sheesh. Looks good now. Right? 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 Um, boom. All right. Here's the all. Let's, uh, let's get a quick aroma check. Smell kind of like a little bit of like unsweetened, uh, chocolate meets a little bit of kind of like just a generic spice. Okay. That's kind of what I get. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. No words, just emotions. Go nuggets. Ooh. Nice big chocolate malt. That's nice. Um, got, got the nice creaminess of the foam. Yeah, that's definitely got kind of like a unsweetened chocolate. Maybe a little, ro little roasted coffee in there, just a little bit. Um, not like huge on that, but big, uh, you know, unsweetened dark, cho or dark chocolate malt meets a little bit of roasted coffee. Mouthfeel. It's a little chalky dry, not not too much. Um, probably about thirty percent mouthfeel. It's not too big, but it's not. It's definitely it's it's bigger than a, a banquet beer. Um, drinkable. Not not so yeah. Not too big for its eight percent. If I didn't know what this was, if I didn't, let me see what the percentage I would think it would be. Let's pour the rest in. There you go. I think I got this at the local Trader Joe's for pretty, uh, I think it was like $12.99 for a four pack of 16 ounces. So 8%, pretty good. Um, hmm. Uh, I can see it being eight, but I, I would actually guess on this, like, it's pretty, it's pretty smooth and, and creamy. I, I, I probably would have guessed somewhere like maybe it would have been close to eight. I may have said like seven and a half or something like that, but, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is nice. I'm going to, uh, see what other people, a couple random things on, on tap, see if there's any crazy, crazy or good, uh, reviews of this, just quick, quick notes and, uh, maybe beer advocate. And uh, as it warms up, because again, it was nice and cold, 
but this is so far I'm pretty impressed, uh, especially because I, I bought a four pack just. I usually don't even buy four packs all the time. Just twelve ninety nine for four sixteen ounces for eight eight uh eight percent. Just figured that sounds like a pretty good deal, and I trust Fremont. So uh, yeah, give me a second. Hold on. Alrighty, so um, yeah, like got a couple notes. On, this is it is nice. Like I, I had a. Uh, I've had, I've actually had a couple of these so far. I still have one left and finally reviewing it, but man, you pour it. This must be like a magical, uh, mug or something. I, I actually like it before, but I feel like I really get it and getting like that roasted dark or dark unsweetened chocolate on this. A couple people on untapped, uh, uh, everyone that I saw in the brief that I looked at it really seemed to like it. Uh, roasty and a bit bitter. Uh, this is just a hint of multi sweetness, but mostly a strong roast coffee flavor kind of what I was uh, hinting at. Um, I didn't say big coffee, but really well-balanced winter ale from one person. Um, there's one more down here where the person was really impressed with it. Of course, they only gave it a four out of five, but still they said, wow, amazing mix of malts and deep chocolate. Perfect for sitting outside in the Seattle mist. Warms me up, but doesn't put me in the bush for the night. Get it if you like multi ales. The color may scare you, but just drink it. It's probably right, and because it does have a little bit of like dry bitter hop, just barely, you know, just well enough, but not not over not overboard. Uh, on Beer Advocate, there was one that I just figured I'd say. Uh, um, let's see, it says uh, malt four with uh, little spicy hops noted, big chocolate notes up front that got bigger as it warmed. Um, let's see. Oh, they, they said it had a thin medium feel that made me wishing it had been a little bit more full and creamy. Interesting beer, a lot more hops than a traditional winter warmer uh, benefits from warming. Um, I liked it even when it was like ice cold, like when I first had it, or, you know, we started, started the review, but it does have, it's like a perfect mix of unsweetened uh, dark chocolate and, and uh, roasted, uh, coffee and some malt uh, but yeah it's it's nice it almost is like a bigger Newcastle with a little bit more spicy elements um, I noticed when I was drinking it um, uh, let's see I feel like some this other person on on um, beer advocate said nice aromas of creamy espresso hazelnuts and milk chocolate some hints of dank hops now I'm not I'm not getting dank hops I'm getting just kind of like a slight you know dry bitter hop at the end, which, you know, can, can be confused with kind of a roastiness. Um, but overall, yeah, I mean, this is, this, this is just n like nice, really nice. Um, especially for twelve ninety nine a four pack. I might have to go back and get more of that. Just nice, nice sipper while I'm, uh, watching the hot ones or so something or, uh, uh, it's the Costner, uh, Yellowstone. I'm sure I've preached it on here before, but if y'all haven't seen Yellowstone, cozy up with a nice winter ale and maybe a little bit of scotch. Watch Yellowstone. Trust me. You won't won't regret it. Best TV show out there right now. Um, all right. Well, this is a very quality beer for, for a good good price. So uh, let's get to the rating, shall we? Get intense. All right. Or not. Whatever you want to do. Let's see. I can see why the dude says creamy espresso just a little bit. I mean, obviously, I'm used to not having espresso real hot, but at least I am. But um, so from Stellar down to oh hell no, um, yeah, this is just gonna get a um, top of the line roasty malt, decent pretty good but again uh so basically out of 100 i'd give this a 93 just short of an a so high a minus uh value is great so a plus for value but um the actual beer a uh, strong a minus um but you know feels like did i say that yeah it feels like about seven seven and a half some people might think it feels like eight but no it goes down real smooth Again, just has that night that like I appreciate that some people might be turned off by that that roastiness that kind of little bitterness at the end 
This gives a little more character than if it just got watered down. Like that would be the difference between something like this and a Newcastle, where a Newcastle would just kind of be a little bit more drinkable and watered down at the end. This has a little bit of character with the ro roasty, uh, you know, coffee slash bitterness at the end. Uh, definitely not dank. I'm, you know, there's no marijuana. It's, as far as I know, dank means marijuana. I'm not getting any marijuana from this, but um, so there you go. I would absolutely recommend this for the price. It's 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 great. It's a good beer. Uh, it's not super blow me away, but it, you know, it kind of almost reminds me of drinking like a ish um, North Coast uh, the old old Rasputin, except old Rasputin's going to be a little bigger, little little more roasted coffee and nine uh, percent. But th this is, is nice, so. Go ahead and get it if you can get a Trader Joe's. I'm sure you can get it quite a bit of places around, you know, wherever you are in the U.S. I'm just guessing. But uh, I got it at Trader Joe's in Studio City. Great value. Um, uh, again, with the Aldi stuff, I th but in between the Aldi stuff, I still have, uh, it's it's like a peppermint patty or something like that uh, from Uinta or something like that. I forget the brewery, but you'll see it. Pretty interesting. Right, I bought two of them. Already had it once. Pretty, pretty good. Tastes like a peppermint patty, I believe it is, is what it is. Uh, so I'm gonna do that next in between the uh, Aldi beer reviews uh, for the calendar, and uh, yeah, go find this. Biggie up yourself. Safe, and we'll see you out there. Peace.